because there are rumors about you and various, various. famous men. Yeah. I'm going to name a few. Okay, and, I'll tell you. Which you could react. Two. Okay. Travis Scott. When I was younger. She belongs to the streets. 21 Savage. When I was younger. Oh, wait. Is how many more are left? She belongs to the streets. I don't think I'm considered a hoe no more. I don't really got no nobody in the last like two no or three more. years. She you said know? no more. Don't say no. No, more. your whole your wholeness can get deleted. Your wholeness can get deleted. Delete all that shit. Delete all that shit. What's good, y'all? And welcome back to Modalis TV. Could have been anywhere in the world. But you're here with me, and I appreciate that. Today we're gonna to be talking about Ruby Rose. Um, I dropped a video about her and DDG, and I remember someone asked me why do I feel that she's a thought. Um, so better than reply, I figure I make a video explaining my stance on why I feel that way about her i feel that the word thought it combines a few different things because i could have just said she's a whore but i feel that it's more thought behavior um and to me a thought is more is bigger than who you're sleeping with it's bigger than how many guys you're sleeping with. To me, a thought is a female or male. It could be both. I'm not discriminating at all. Guys are thoughts too. But in this particular situation, since we're talking about Ruby, I feel that it's a combination of things. I feel like the way she carry herself is thought-like. I feel like the fact that she's been passed around that's thought like just the overall package i feel like is a thought package i feel like it's a fucking thought package it's a combination of thoughtness it's all balled up into one and i feel like she's a prime example of uh thoughts today so if you guys aren't familiar she had an issue with young thugs wife girlfriend because of her thought like behavior um I'm not saying she slept with Young Thug, but she was on a set of one of his videos and she did post him on her Instagram and captioned it, Bay. So I don't know if she felt like she was cool with him enough to do that, but apparently his wife didn't think so. So they had a whole big thing between them two going back and forth on the internet and they did a couple interviews on it. So let's take hey, a look Tell me the story about this Young Thug video that didn't come out. Okay. His Her, girlfriend? Yeah. Jerika? Jerika. Okay. At the time, I was young and dumb, and I should have chilled out. Um, I posted a picture of him on Twitter saying, Bay as fuck. Uh. That's where I, that was the only mistake I made. I know, but I was dumb and young, and but yeah, she took it the wrong She was already upset about me being in the video, like... When I, um, like, when we were during the shoot, like, he answered her call and put it on speaker, and she was like, literally... She I said your name, like... Fuck this Ruby Rose well, bitch. What the fuck is wrong? Something. With that? I don't know. He just like was cussing at her and then um it was like weird. Like it was like we recorded for like five days. Like so there was like we, I don't know. It was weird. But anyways, long story short, the video didn't come out. Because Wild world oh we fought on Twitter. We fought on Twitter and he cussed. You and her? Yeah, me and her, and then um, he he said mean things to me too, and he was pushing up on me. What did he say? Something that said bae. Now, mind you, coming from you know a girlfriend standpoint, it ain't like you just a random girl who just got thumped out of the sky who got in the video. You know, you somebody who I I do know to have dealt with you know other guys Some in the rappers, industry, yeah. rappers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, somebody who, at the time, I can't speak on your name for yourself, but from what I see, you know, you sitting on so. rappers' laps. You know what I'm saying? If I see you in a, a pic and you saying, bae, you in my city, you know, it ain't like, I ain't like how she said it. Like, it ain't like you just some girl that's random. You know who you are to a lot of women, mm -hmm. you know, who might got a nigga. You know how they gonna see you if you around they do. You know right. what I'm saying? So... To me, it's just certain shit you don't do. 
especially if you know someone is in a relationship and they got somebody it's just lines it's just boundaries and to me that's thought like behavior oh she belongs to the streets it don't like i said it don't necessarily have to be with you sleeping with somebody it's just crossing those lines that you just shouldn't cross but when you uh, up and coming thought these are the type of things that you do so you know that's just a a, a a prime example to me of what i feel thought like behavior and then we have some more thought like behavior let's take a look at this interview well, i'm about to be on i know i don't need to do like that goofy shit like and i don't want to scare away any potential of my my potential suitors okay well because there are rumors about you and various various famous men I'm going, to just name a, I'm going to name a few. Okay, I'll tell you which one. You can react. Two. Okay. Travis Scott. When I was younger. Oh, wait. Actually, I shouldn't do this. I shouldn't do this game. <laughs> <laughs> I, shouldn't do, I shouldn't do this game. Oh, she belongs to the streets. 21 Savage. When I was younger. Oh, wait. Is, how many more are left? No. Oh, she belongs to the streets. So, how'd you start dating Cardi? What happened with that? So... Just like mutual friends, really, but like we, I was in, we were friends first. Okay. And like while I was in high school, and like I remember the first time we met, because we would talk through Twitter and like text and shit. But the first time we met, he came and picked me up from my mom's house and took me to like one of his shows uh -huh. in like downtown. And my mom was in Gwinnett. Everybody knew that she was messing with Cardi, um, Playboy Cardi. If you didn't know, she confirms it. And then she also confirmed that she was messing with Travis Scott at some point. And I just feel like that like behavior. Like I, even if you did mess with those people, it just feels like a lot of the time she likes to name drop, not really realizing how it's affecting her. It's making you look stupid because you name dropping niggas that you fucked. In the meantime, now everybody know your business, and it's just like she just talked too much, and I just feel like that that's that's just thought like behavior. Like, even if you did do these things, why are you telling the world? Besides Playboy Cardi, because that was your boyfriend. Other than that, like, why are you telling people who you slept with? Like, it's just insane to me. Then we had the situation with her and TJ. He flew you out to come fuck and then dissed you. First of all, you, that whole situation is thought like behavior. You let a nigga fly you out on his birthday for some ass. Not your man, not your boyfriend, not your nothing. Just some nigga that you, all right, cool. I'll come free flight, free, free trip. Like, that's thought like shit, bro. That's thought like shit. There's, there's not a real woman on this earth who gonna meet a nigga and just fly to him to have sex unless you're a fucking thought. Like, not a grown woman is not doing that. Like, like come on. She just acts like a fucking thought, bro. Every Like, her movements, everything is, is a fucking thought. Every single thing. So, she gets there, gives him what he wants, and then... He's saying that she saw somebody in his phone or something like that. Let's take a look at it. So there's no flight going on. What? What's wrong with the fucking... Don't touch me, please. Please don't touch me. Okay, so are you going to give me a fight? No! Ooh. Really into explaining. I don't really even care what y'all think, but this is one time for y'all. Just just to sum it up real quick. Just real quick, one time. Ruby came to my house, seen another girl texting my phone, got mad, emotional, and called the police on me. Can't call the police to my crib, girl. You know, like, like hello, like, what? what? What are you doing? For me, so I embarrassed her. So she saw somebody in his phone got mad and they got into something and he refused to book her a flight back home. So she was tight. Oh, shit like that only happens to thoughts. It only happens to thoughts, bro. It only does. 
Like, I just, it, it's, like I said, thought like behavior, thought like behavior is bigger than how many people you sleep with. It's how you carry yourself. And she carries herself like a thought. Now, we have just random clips and shit of her shaking the ass in front of the camera and doing all type of shit. I know that this is 2020 and on the internet, this is what they're doing. But I don't know. I just feel like it's just something about how she act, bro. That shit just, ugh. Let's take a look at some clips of Ruby Rose. She belongs to the streets. Did I prove my point? Did I prove my point? Because I don't want y'all to feel like I'm picking on her or I don't like this girl. I don't have an issue with her. But I just want her to act accordingly. You did that shit to get up to where you are. Cool. A lot of girls do it. You got to use what you got to get what you want, right? That's what they saying. And that's what she did. But. I don't know. I just feel like these young girls are just just lost. Like, I feel like she's lost, bro. Like, she even was talking about in an interview how her, her mother didn't get along because her mother didn't understand the things that she was doing on the internet to get to where she is. And when she got her record deal and the money stopped coming in, then her mother understood what 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 she why she had to do those raunchy things to get to this point and it's like there's people who made it and there's people who've done things and got to where they wanted to and they did not have to take the thought route you don't have to do that like you don't have to go that route that's a choice that's a choice i'm not saying that it is not an easier route because it sure is an easier route pussy gonna get you where you need to go but that's not the only way to get there. And I just feel like she's just using that to get and get and get. And it's just diminishing her reputation each time. Like, I don't know. Who am I? I'm just here to give you guys my opinion. That's how I feel about Ruby Rose. And like I said, she's a beautiful girl. I'm not taking that away from her she's a beautiful girl but she just do she's just going down the wrong road and once it's out there it's like you can't take this shit back once it's out there it's out there nothing like there's you can find anything on the internet you cannot wipe that away so for the girls that's trying to get where they want to be Think about that before you do certain things because you cannot Dre a lie to you. You cannot erase your wholeness. I don't think I'm considered a hoe no more. I don't really got no nobody in the last like two no or three more. years. She you said know? no more. Don't say no. <laughs> no, more. your whole your wholeness can get deleted. Your wholeness can get deleted. Delete all that shit. Delete all that shit. It's gonna be there forever. You just gotta find a nigga that's willing to deal with that shit. And good luck with that. So that's going to conclude this video, you guys. I hope you liked the video. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you turn on post notifications so you won't miss a video when I drop. Make sure you let me know how you feel in the comments. Like I said, I'm always open to discussions. If you guys feel that I'm wrong or I said anything that I shouldn't have said, let me know. But I'll see you guys in the next video.